queues at the petrol pumps, food shortages and the rising cost of goods all put the shortage of HGV drivers in the national spotlight last year. The lack of drivers has been blamed on many things, including Brexit, the pandemic and pay and conditions in the industry. But according to the Road Haulage Association, the biggest reason for the shortfall is retirement. In a bid to get new drivers on the road, the government changed the rules last November to allow car drivers to take their test in an articulated lorry without first having to pass in a rigid lorry. This driver in Dewsbury is among the first to have passed his HGV test straight from a car licence at the Fleetmaster Training Centre. felt extremely different to driving a car. Um, this vehicle is about 15 metres long. It's 44 tonnes in weight and it's 13 foot 7 high. I had to consider things like lampposts, trees, bridges, bridges that we couldn't go under, the length of it keep my eye in the mirrors to check that I wasn't going to hit anything, pedestrians, it was nothing like driving a car. However, it's automatic, it's not, technically it's not difficult to drive, it's just the understanding and these people were great, they taught me, it was, I found it, I listened to what they said and I found I could do it and after a few hours, it wasn't straight away, after a few hours it was possible. I really, really enjoyed it. Typically, it takes around 12 weeks of theory and practical training to test completion and costs between £2,500 and £3,000 here at Fleetmaster. And the company have seen a real interest in the new scheme. We are getting numerous more women getting involved. We're getting people from all sorts of different backgrounds, all sorts of different ages, different experiences, uh, whether it be a completely new car driver to uh, somebody in the late 50s, 60s that have always fancied doing it and now they just thought, you know, now's the time to be getting on with it. As well as this scheme, the government announced it would train up to 4,000 people as new HGV drivers, increase testing capacity and encourage retired drivers back to the industry. Salaries have also increased to around £30,000 for the job, but there's also been pushback on the industry to improve working conditions. We, need, we do need to uh, um, attract more women, uh, more younger drivers. The way that we do that is for the industry to promote itself better, uh, to say that, you know, to become an HGV driver, it's not a, a dirty job. You know, it, it's, a, it's a very, very well paid and highly skilled job. Uh, and that message needs to come from the industry. And I even had a go at reversing one of these lorries and just about managed to stay within the cones. Forwards is a lot easier than backwards. I've got a car licence myself and I can say it's a lot harder than it looks. So credit to anyone that's passed their test straight from a car driving license to being in this 44 ton truck arctic anna riley for gb news in dewsbury